Good evening. Oklahomans are urging the attorney general to reinvestigate the case of Anthony Sanchez, the next man scheduled to be executed in Oklahoma. Fox 25's Katie Arata spoke to advocates for him, and Katie, they claim Sanchez is innocent. Yeah, Grant, advocates and even some investigators claim Anthony is innocent. Innocent. They say the actual person responsible for murder is Anthony's father, Glenn Sanchez. They're calling on AG Drummond to retest all of the evidence in the case before it's too late. 21 year old Julie Buskin was abducted, raped and shot in the head at Lake Stanley Draper in 1996. Anthony Sanchez was convicted of first degree murder in 2006 after his DNA was found on the victim. But advocates for him say it wasn't his. Investigator David Ballard spells out why this is so deeply concerning to a person who's an expert in DNA. He said he saw problems with it almost immediately, uh, including the fact that you know, both Glenn and Anthony, Glenn is Anthony's father, have a match to the victim in the case, according to this DNA. Well, that's impossible because they're not related. So something is wrong. Death penalty action says it's too late for the courts to take a fresh look at the evidence used to convict Anthony. So they are calling on the public and state officials to help. If you're not willing to be the innocent person executed or to stand by and watch your loved one be executed, then maybe it's time to say, I'm OK with a wait and ask the attorney general to halt this execution and reinvestigate the case. Advocates for Sanchez launched billboards just days ago to bring attention to the case. The billboards are going to be up for a month at least, inviting people to watch the film and make up their own minds. Is there enough questions? FreeAnthonySanchez.org, we've got, that's where you can find the video. You can look through all the questions of evidence that are concerning to us. They hope that with enough public outcry, they can stop Sanchez's execution. I think most people, most reasonable Oklahomans, and most Oklahomans are reasonable, even if they support the death penalty, don't want to execute the wrong person. This comes after Oklahoma death row inmate Jermaine Cannon was executed on Thursday. The first execution since Attorney General Drummond's motion to delay executions was approved by a district judge in January. If you'd like more information on the Sanchez case, go to freeanthonysanchez.org. Sanchez execution is currently scheduled for September 21st. Reporting live in studio, Katie Arada, Fox 25 News.